Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thought I would quickly film my reaction right now because we've just arrived in Noha in our little room, not little room, in our hotel and we've been upgraded because I said, because I put on the booking that it was for Joel's birthday, which his birthday was a month ago. So instead of, of small little single two beds, room we've been upgraded in this big apartment with this nice big queen bed nice big queen bed balcony and down here we've got bathroom and then we've got our own like lounge room and then look at this view look at this view so just a tip for you guys if you ever want to get an upgrade um, or you know anything special included in your stay just say it's a birthday or it's for a special occasion or you're celebrating something obviously we gave them passports so it, you can't just make up like it was for my birthday six months ago you can't really probably can't really get away with that but because Joel's birthday was only in July and it's now August so it was so nice of them to upgrade us very grateful so today's Tuesday we arrived on Sunday evening and yesterday we just spent the whole day at the beach and that's mainly why we've come here just to chill out on the beach but we thought today we'd have a little rest from the beach because we got a bit sunburned. So this morning we're just going to go find some breakfast. Normally we try and be cheap and we just buy stuff from the supermarket and eat it in our room. But today we're going to go find some churros. Hola. Hola. Yeah, just an ice latte. Ice latte? Oh, chocolate. Oh, I'll go on then, yeah. We've just come to this little cafe, espresso bar cafe. And I'm just going to get a coffee here. Mm. We've just finished our coffee and muffin at that little micro roastery. So definitely suggest going there. We had a little chat with the owner and he roasts all the coffee all in there. There's also a nice cafe there, but we're going to go somewhere different to get churros. But yeah, definitely recommend going there. The coffee was amazing. I thought he put cream on top, but it, I asked him and he was like, no, it's I've just frothed up a bit of milk. And then he said he put a bit of mol like molasses sugar, sugar cane in there. And he said the, what did he say? The, the place that the produces only, it. Yeah, the only one in Europe. The only one in Europe that produces it, not far down the road. So he put a bit of that in it. So I think that's what made it taste really creamy and sweet. It was so, so nice. Just ordered some churros and some orange juices. Let's see how they are. Let's see how they compare to Cafe Football and Granada. They don't seem as crispy as the ones at Cafe Football. Football. So we're heading back to the hotel now. Okay, this is what our hotel looks like. It's really pretty on the outside. It's kind of a Moroccan theme, I reckon. It's called Hostel Allegri. I'm just going out for lunch to a local tapas bar. Hopefully down here somewhere. Just need to consult our maps that our hotel guy gave us. He suggested a few local places. That he goes to. We've just come to a place called Puntilla. Puntilla? Something Puntilla. Just ordered a drink, so hopefully we'll get some free tapa. Otherwise, we'll order some maybe. Some seafood. The place we went to last night had a free tapa though. La Poquita. La Poquita. The further in town where all the touristy, tourist, more touristy places are. So we think it's free. Yes. But he asks us a pick instead of just getting whatever they're making. Mm. I haven't tried a tortilla yet since we've been here. Not as gooey as I want it to be. Sorry. It's really good, but it's getting way too much salt. The squid was nice though, nice. It wasn't chewy, it was like a nice texture. We just had a little bit of seafood at that place back there. And we had such a nice little experience. That man was so nice. nice. I don't know if they're just like a bit more, like, I feel like they're quite appreciative. They kind of look at you like they're grateful that you're speaking just a little tiny bit of Spanish, just a few phrases. And that man just had like nice kind eyes. We're gonna move on to this next place now here. Bar Dolores. This also seafood. Okay, change of plan, we're going to a different one now. I've been given a menu and sat down at this table, but it's all like proper sit down food. It's quite a good price for compared to what we used to do. I don't know if it could be sat at, sat at a proper table instead of standing 
There isn't really any stool tables. There's no like standing tables, they're all sit down tables. So I don't know that's why we're not getting tapas and we're getting like the proper menu. The guy at the hotel said to get prawns here, so I'm gonna get prawns. They're only 12 euro. No, they're 10, 10 euro 50, so that's quite a good price for prawns. But we have already just had tapas, so. And we didn't really want to spend that much, but oh well, we're here now. Mm. Oh my god, look at Joel's. <laughs> This is such a big meal, isn't it? Worth the money, because it's not that expensive at all, really, but we have just had some tapa. That looks so good. Look how big those bits of meat are. You'll have to take it away. Don't eat it all. We'll take us some away and have some for dinner. Mmm, these are really good. They're so big and fat. To be honest, we haven't really been full, because yeah, we've well. been trying to eat free tapas the whole time. So I haven't, I've never actually felt like exploding on this holiday, which is quite... Well, well, from the churros. Yeah, you, which is quite unknown for us. Normally when we're on holiday, I just feel like we're constantly, all you do is eat and you feel full the whole time. I think I feel like you just feel really fat because you eat out for lunch, eat at the dinner, and you just feel disgusting all the time. Whereas even though we've been eating loads, we haven't really. So when you eat for your tapa and you're drinking, you're like, oh, I'm actually quite content because it slowly comes out. Yeah. And it's obviously only a little bit. I'm gonna stink of garlic. Stink anyway. We had some food at our, in our hotel room because we've been spending too much and we just couldn't bother going out for dinner again. But we're heading down to the beach now at about 8.30 because we want to watch kind of like the sunset and just go there in the evening because we haven't really been down to the beach down to the actual beach and the waterfront in the evening because it is quite a big not a big walk it's about a 10 minute walk but to come back up it's quite steep so we've only done it going to the actual beach beach during the day once I feel like I've just been craving just maybe like a bit of a sunset beach water relaxing kind of environment at the moment so yeah this is the hill that we have to come back up the hill bit doesn't actually last that long it just when you are coming back up my calf muscles have been getting a workout lately Again. And we're gonna go find somewhere to sit maybe near the beach. And I got one called Grandma's Cake. I have to Google what it is. There was a picture of it, but I don't. It was almost like a wafery cake looking thing. It tastes really good. Wow, look at this. Look at the view now. Ignore the boat. Oh, pretty. Time is it? Quarter past eight. Nice and early to get a good spot, and also it's nice and cool, so it's nice to be out at this time. So the good thing about our hotel is that they give us free parasols. There's no one here except for two, four people, and just seagulls and pigeons. A lot calmer than yesterday. When we came yesterday, at about 9:30. It was like crashing waves, like the waves were quite big-ish, 
they weren't that big in the grand scheme of things but they were big to swim in and I wasn't getting in but they calmed down as the day went on but it, it's never been this calm and the guy that works at the hotel said there was a storm recently like the other day so that's probably why there was like such strong waves he said there was a lot of Ad Atlantic water that had been pushed down here so the water's a lot colder than usual apparently if the hotel didn't give us parasols then we probably would have had to pay to go on the sun lounges behind us um, but they're only five euros per lounger so they're not too expensive I don't know if that includes the umbrella though I assume it probably does because they didn't have an umbrella price I don't know but in Cinque Terre in Italy it's 25 euros a day so I guess it's a little bit cheaper than that and that saves us some money except I get a sore bum if we're laying down here for ages I have a tip if you're going to the beach get here super super early so you get a nice spot at the very front and you can enjoy it while it's nice and peaceful like this this is what we do every time we come to the beach when we're on holiday we just come super early I can't touch the bottom Joel's got some goggles and he's gonna look out for some fishies now it's so busy it's so much busier today than it was Monday I'm so full. We're just heading back now to a bar called Rack and Ruin, which I think is a bit more of a western bar. The girl that was working in there, or owns it, or working in there, was speaking English, which is obviously from the UK. So. We said we'd come back after we had some food and it looks quite cool in there. there's like a pool table and there's like an outdoor terrace so yeah it looks quite trendy what? Hello again. it's very cozy here yeah i want to play pool We've come to an Indian restaurant. It had very good reviews, so that's why we're here. I'm really excited to have something different. We've been eating a lot of tapas, so we're keen to have something different. These prawns are massive. Oh my God, this is so good. My prawns are really expensive. So my prawns are about 19.50, weren't they? <laughs> Quite expensive for Spain. <laughs> Compared to what we're used to, we spent how much was that? 51 euro? 52. 52 euro. Am I supposed to be on a budget tonight? Oh no. We are currently on our way to Frigliana. We're having a little day trip away from there, huh? What was it? 1 15 each? 1 euro 15 each to go one way. We're just climbing the hills now. It should only be. 10 15 minute bus ride, I think. The countryside's so pretty. Look at that big house. One 
thing I will mention about the bus is, is that you can't find it on Google Maps or Rome to Rio. Both times when I was putting in um, directions from Noha to Frigliana, there was no buses apparently, even though it's literally only 10 minutes away. So all we did was ask our hotel, the guy that owns our hotel, what buses can we get to Frigliana? And he just gave us this pamphlet and it has loads of different times. Don't always um, find what you need online. There's no like boards at the bus stops to tell you it's a bus stop or to tell you the times either. So sometimes you will probably have to ask around. This is definitely an Instagram's dream. It's so pretty everywhere you go, all the white buildings. It's almost like, are you in Greece or are you in Spain? one of those places where maybe not many people know about it there are a few people here but I don't know if it's only local tourists like Spanish tourists because obviously at the moment it's corona times so it's not super busy so if you just come around the corner you get this really nice view so I think this is better than the actual viewpoint we were just at and also a lot better for photos I think here on these steps I think you can also get a tuk-tuk tour around for Gliana oh. that's what these people are doing Coke. Coke. Oh, yeah. <laughs> getting a Coke today because I can't drink any more alcohol. We've been drinking so much. I'm fading away. I need food. Yes. Hello. Um, that's so good. Also, they've got some olives here, and they taste so good. They're so salty. Mm. Mm. They're amazing. Mm, look at these croquettes.